嚟好二零二三年嘅第三二三十三条咧，都系睇翻呢两幅图嘅，咁就显示咗啦，一个健康嘅人啦，同埋一个糖尿病患者啦，佢哋嗰个血糖浓度嘅改变，同埋血嘅胰岛素水平嘅改变嘅。啊！幾時嘅改變啊？就係、是、飲咗個汽水之後啦。第三條就問咯，基於幅圖嘅數據啦，唔識咁就要我哋咧去做翻一個配對喎。喂，咁究竟啦，呢、這個糖尿病患者咧，佢係患有咗一型糖尿病啊，定係二型糖尿病咧？同埋啦，相關嘅原因咯。咁呢個題目啦，自不然就考下我哋啦。喂，究竟一型同二型糖尿病識唔識分先？第二啦，就係、是、可以學識睇下圖表咯、哦。你要見得到咧，其實呢個糖尿病患者咧，佢個血糖水平啦，嗱，飲完一個糖水，咁梗係血糖飆升噶啦，係。咁睇翻糖尿病患者呢幅圖表先啦，飲完汽水啦，喂，個血糖嘅水平梗係叭叭聲咁升啦，係咪？而我哋望一望佢嘅胰島素水平，喂，其實冇乜點上升過噶噃，呢、这個就係關鍵啦，因為啦。喺一型同埋二型糖尿病之間，我哋就發現一型糖尿病嘅病患者，佢哋係能夠製造到好少，甚至乎係唔能夠製造到胰島素。呢、这個就係一型糖尿病患者嘅主要成因。而二型糖尿病患者佢哋做到胰島素，不過佢哋嘅身體細胞對於胰島素唔敏感，所以咧最關鍵嘅咧。就係、是、要睇得識呢一條 curve 啦，係咪？好咁而家啦，就睇下答案再擊破咯喎！一開始咧，佢就話啦：，喂，糖尿病一型一型，哎 ，A、B 好似答案咯喎，係嘛 ？C、D 咧就可以 say goodbye 啦，係咪？第一啦，佢就講咯喎，喂，嗱，佢之所以係一型糖尿病咧，係因為啦，飲完呢個汽水之後咧，佢個血糖哇，你睇下升得幾高，成呢、這個情況，無論你一型定二型糖尿病患者都係咁噶啦。我你冇能力控制血糖啊嘛，飲完汽水啲血糖咪叭叭聲咁升咯。咁啊，邊款糖尿病患者都係咁噶啦，所以 A 啦就已經錯咗咯。B 咧佢就講啦，嗱佢咧就係一型糖尿病患者，你睇下佢飲完呢個汽水之後咧，嗰、那個血液嘅胰島素水平，喂冇乜反應噶，都唔升嘅。呢、這個正正就貼合咗我哋糖尿病一型病患者嘅主要成因，佢哋咧就只係能夠製造到少量嘅胰島素，甚至乎係不。能夠製造胰島素，所以 B 咧就係答案咯。咁當然啦，嗱二型呢兩個咧必然係錯噶啦。咁啊有啲體育精神啦，睇下咧有冇啲咩句子我哋都可以轉下啦。例如啦 ，C 呢句咧，嗱佢話咧，哇，你睇下佢咧就患有二型糖尿病，咁啊因為啦飲完汽水之後咧，佢個血糖水平咧，哇，即刻直線上升喎。喂，一型二型糖尿病患者都係咁噶啦，有幾咁特別啫？哪怕二型糖尿病係答案，不過呢個解釋都唔係答案啦。跟住就去到糖尿病二型咯。啊嗱，你睇下咧，佢糖尿病二型嚟嘅，咁啊因為咧，我哋個肝臟咧就唔能夠將啲過多嘅葡萄糖轉化成為糖原喎。啱唔成？喂，大佬啊，無論你一型定二型糖尿病，你都係做唔到呢個功能噶啦，啱唔啱啊？所以啦，哪怕二型糖尿病佢真係答案，呢、這個都唔係解釋。所以答案呢，就只有 B 咯。嗱，咁過往呢，其實啦，真係每隔幾年呢，又出一次嘅糖尿病㗎啦。無論長提定係 MC， 咁所以大家快快手揾下書啦。Three question thirty two and thirty three refer to the graphs. It shows that the change in the blood glucose levels and the blood insulin levels of a healthy person and a diabetic patient after consuming a sugary drink. And based on the graph, so match the type of the diabetic patient is suffering from and is explanation. So for this question, is checking us how can we distinguish type one diabetics from the type two diabetics, and it also checks us the graph reading skills. So you can see that type one, type two diabetics, and then we need to take a look at the graph. After consuming the sugary drink, surely the blood glucose level increase a lot, right? It's a high, very high level, and at the same time, the insulin level doesn't change at all. So that's the key point. Say, so for the type one diabetics, too little or low insulin is produced because the insulin secreting cells in the pancreas are destroyed. That's the major cause for the type one diabetics, and for the type two diabetics. The patient they can produce insulin. However, the body cells are not sensitive to the insulin. So, from the graph, the very critical information is shows that this patient cannot produce 
insulin. So it should be type 1 diabetes, right? And then let's take a look at the explanation. For the option A, blood glucose level remains high after the patient consumes the sugary drink. Surely it's wrong because it's the common sign for the type 1 and type 2 diabetics, right? Therefore, option A is not the correct answer. And then for option B, it's type 1 diabetics because the insulin level shows no response to the rise in the blood glucose level. That's the idea. The curve of the insulin in the graph match the major cause of the type 1 diabetics. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. So although options C and D, they are wrong, let's take a look at their explanation. What if type 2 diabetics is really the answer? Or it says that blood glucose level has a sharp rise after patient consuming a sugary drink. Come on, it's still the common sign of the type 1 and type 2 diabetics, right? Therefore, option C is wrong. Even the exam say. And then for the option D, exam. And then for option D, exam say. And then for the option D, or this patient, he or she is the type two diabetes because the liver failed to convert the glucose to glycogen when the blood glucose level is high. Come on, it's also the common sign for type one and type two diabetes. The liver as the target organ cannot perform the corresponding function well for the blood glucose regulation. Therefore, it's also the wrong answer. We can see that there are a lot of questions about diabetes, blood glucose regulation in the past year. So let's watch the video and do the revision.